So today Bella is waiting to go outside. It's a beautiful sunny day and I'm also waiting to fill the Wendy house full of all your orders. And Richard's waiting to <laughs> rake the gravel because he suddenly had a burst of enthusiasm for the garden. So I've lost my cameraman again, but never mind. Bella and I will look at what we've done so far with the stockings. So I've been sent quite a few um, wonderful pictures of uh, the variation that people are making in these designs. And now this is one that I've got, which is our logo leaf, actually. And I've uh, changed the, um, the leaves to long and short soft shading and a bit more of a Jacobean leaf. And this will have rabbits underneath. You can just see the little rabbit ears down there. Um, this, of course, is the original stocking, which I made just for Isabella in Hong Kong. And she saw it yesterday. I think she wants it back. Although it's nowhere near Christmas at the moment. And um, you can see in the colours there, that is a very classic Jacobean sort of colours with the brown for the animal and then yellows through the greens to blue, which is, um, you know, very typical of a lot of my designs as well. And her little dogs I've added at the bottom in French knots. And I just stitched the um, entire hummock and then just placed a piece of paper over the top in the shape of a dog and sort of roughly made a few uh, French knots to just give myself a, a little bit of a shape first of all. So the top of the dog ear and the base of the leg and then the ba along the back so I knew what I was doing. So um, there are some colour choices and uh, I'm just going to move across now to uh unicorn now is this <laughs> unicorn too this one and we're rather um getting lost which one's which but never mind this one uh goes from a um a dark uh, green at the top down to a pale green on that left hand hummock and a rather vivid blue through the green to a deeper blue on the lowest one in the toe and then i went slightly bonkers with the pink because uh this will end up with a girl and uh, it's actually got her name on it, I think. Um, and and I've added on the satin stitch hooves, which have ended up as pink. I don't know why. I've added a little tiny line of that creamy white colour. Can you see that for um, the shoe? I'm not sure if unicorns wear horseshoes, but this one is wearing horseshoe because the mainly because the hooves didn't go out very well. And I don't believe in pulling out. You just add a bit more in. And the soft shading from the white in the double through all the various layers has kind of worked quite well, I think. Um, and uh, the addition of little bits of feather down the back of the legs, you see there, this is slightly cart horsey um, unicorn, but I don't think anyone's going to mind. And then satin stitch for the actual horn, but just worked up and down the shape and then on a diagonal in a double thread and that's worked quite well it's sort of a corkscrew not quite sure what sort of horns you're going to have so the colors you know coming from the top this one's still on its frame um they're quite subtle really and i really want to add a bit more bling on these um they're not quite christmasy enough are they and then this is stocking number one which i started quite well with the strong colors the dark blue dark green couching I was quite brave about it. I was pretty arty when I went went for the um, the cloud there, and that's worked well. And one or two of you sent in pictures of your clouds, and they're looking great actually. Um, and then close fly stitch on the leaves, and then I've worked the whole of the unicorn, which was I think in my last video. So you can see the legs are the lower legs are worked in a double thread in the grey. And then I've used a single thread to come up through the previous work. Can you see that in the cream and the, and the white there? Just to add um, subtlety. And that's when really stitching is so much easier than painting because you're actually just adding little bits. So I could work that entire hind offside leg, you see, in the grey, in the gunmetal grey, and then come up through that and just add that at the top inside where it would be a little bit paler if you ever look at horses. Um, the tail, it's lines of uh, cross stem stitch, quite loosely worked, I've made quite big stitches. Nobody's going to be checking on your stitches on this stocking, I promise. So just don't worry about it. Make the stitches quite big when you're going down a straight line. And then I um, 
I got quite carried away with the eye here. Um, I actually made the eye with dark grey satin stitches and then outlined the eye with pink because I thought it looked quite good. And then added a tiny little spot. I just remembered what you do when you're painting. You add a tiniest little bit of white and it makes the eye come alive. So this unicorn looks quite lively and it looks, to me, it looks alive. But this one over here certainly doesn't. So poor thing, it's got a really miserable looking face. So um, and I'm not sure that the nose really works. I put a tiny little bit of a mouth in there that's rather lost. So, you know, if you look at your unicorn at this stage, um, I might add a bead for his eye, which always looks good. Or I might use the trick of the dark grey or the dark blue or dark green 